physics for you, 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 and it's nuclear physics. Let's start today with radioactivity now. Yeah, here we go. Radioactivity is useful in lots of ways. It's also harmful in lots of ways. In fact, all of us emit radiation in one way or another. It's just not that very dangerous. Not as dangerous as x-rays, that is, at least, or UV rays. In fact, bananas actually also release radiations themselves. But right now, we're going to have to talk about radioactivity. Now, this was discovered in 1860-something, 69, I believe, where this guy, uh, there's a scientist, who almost by accident found out that some substances, like uranium, could blacken and darken photographs, which, like film photographs, even in the dark. And these substances are radioactive, and they were decided to be called that because, well, that's basically what it is, radioactivity. Now, so, now there are some experiments you can do with radioactivity, but if uh, for at-home experiments, and it can only be done at school because the school has these necessary materials most of the time, and they're dangerous, so they cannot. They can only be teacher demonstrations only. You can do them yourselves as long as you're a teacher or have an adult supervising you. Here's the thing about radioactivity. Radioactivity comes in three parts: the alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Now, rays are just the last part. Alpha and beta are particles. Now, alpha particles are basically when like an atom, a rare atom, decays, and then that just releases a nucleus that is the exact copy of a helium nucleus. And, well, the thing is, the atom, the mother atom, as they call, as they call it, turns into a different atom, and we call that atom the daughter atom, like a family, a mom giving birth to a baby. And that happens, and then the helium particle that goes out, that goes through, that is released, which is only the nucleus, it spreads out. Also, also the bad thing about this radiation is that it's it's easily blocked. Like it can only travel a few centimeters, like a few millimeters in the air before it decays, or at least stopped. You can literally stop it with your hand or a very very thin sheet of paper. Second type of radiation, beta particles, are basically just electrons or positrons being shot out. Let me explain. Like an uh, an atom decays, and then it shoots out an electron or a positron. What's a positron? It's basically an anti-electron. It's the electron with a positive part a particle, a positive charge. It's an antimatter. It's a type of antimatter, which is weird and good sometimes for big explosions. Anyways, back to the topic. That itself, the positron, it goes ahead and is plopped out. And if it's a positron, well, it explodes. If it's an electron, it'll just repel. And it can pass through your hand and thin sheets of paper. However, it can easily be stopped with a thin sheet of tinfoil or aluminum, which, yeah. And then the third type, the most dangerous type, well, depends on where you are. Well, let me explain which is the most dangerous type here and why it also isn't the dangerous type. Is gamma radiation. Gamma radiation is a gamma wave. And it's, if you look on the electromagnetic spectrum, it has the shortest wavelength of all. And this is a particular dangerous because it can pass through everything. Even a big, a, 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 a sick piece of lead, a few centimeters thick, can can literally pass through it. It can weaken it, but pass through it. And so you need an even sicker piece of lead. Like very, very sick piece, pieces of lead are made for boxes so that radioactive stuff cannot escape from inside. Like that's a pretty good idea. And with that, gamma radiations do a lot of harm. Now here's the thing. On the outside, now, radiation can do harm to your body. Any radiation will do. It depends on where the radiation is going. If it's gamma radiation, it's does the most damage on the outside. But if you put it inside of you, it won't do much damage at all because it won't interact much, which is why we use radiotherapy or radio, num radio uh, numerology. Radiology to basically just figure out what's happening inside of you. The... And beta particles, well, they don't do that much damage unless it's a positron. Yikes. And if it's an alpha particle, well, outside, it does the least damage at all because there's not really anything you can interact with. In fact, you can literally stop it with your bare hand and not get any effects. However, if 
if you are uh, putting it inside of you, then you'll basically not pass out the body. Because as I said, your hand can literally stop it. But now that's the inside of the body, it does the most damage because it's an ionizing radiation and those interact with the cells very, very much. We don't even use that to kill cancer. Also, it could be used to kill cancer. It will be uncontrollable. And radioactive dating. This is one of the most important uses of radiology. You basically can use radiocarbon dating, radioactive carbon dating, just to see how old something is. And this is how they were able to figure out how old a Viking settlement is and how old is this particular Bible by just seeing how much carbon is inside and how much has left it, pretty much. And the physics at work. Medical scanning. Now, medical scanning is also pretty useful here, too. You can use radioactivity to look inside of you. You just have to shoot a ray at yourself. Or, to be a more less dangerous way, just put it inside of you and let it emit itself out. And that is one way to do it. Also, you can also do surgery to, like, put them in your biceps or something. And that is that will kill less healthy cells and kill cancer cells more, too. You can use gamma radiation for cancer cells, too. And that's it. That's all you pretty much need to know about radioactivity. One more thing you're going to need to know is how this nuclear physics works. Now, you can, now lots of people are using nuclear physics just so to create a bomb. Lots of people, lots of countries didn't stop use, creating reactor technology, nuclear reactor technology, just because they wanted bombs. And you can create a nuclear bomb if you have nuclear reactor technology. Nuclear reactor technology is pretty full, but you can convert it to atomic bomb technology, which is harmful. Keep that in mind. And... That's it. That's it. We're not going to talk about quantum mechanics. None of that stuff. So I hope to see you guys soon. And the next time, you're not out. Peace, 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 peace.